Okay, I am going to demonstrate how to do a return loss sweep on an antenna and the steps I need to take to get the sight hawk set up and perform the sweep. I have an antenna over here. The frequency range on it is 896 to 960 megahertz and it will uh, spec in at negative 14 dB return loss or 1.5 VSWR. I want to set my sighthawk up, set the frequency range a little bit wider than the antenna. So I'm going to set my start frequency to 700 megahertz and I'll set my stop frequency to 1100 megahertz. I want to also set my data points to, I'm going to use 801 to give myself a little bit more resolution. I'm going to turn my limit line on and I'm going to set it to a value of neg 14 dB return loss because everything below the limit line will pass. I'm also going to adjust my scale because currently I'm at plus 50 to minus 50 dB I know I'm not going to go above zero so I'm going to set my top range to zero I'm going to set my bottom scale to I'll start off with neg 60 now that my parameters for the antenna have been set up, I need to calibrate the sight hog. I'm going to use my cal combo, which is a precision open, short, and load. I can either calibrate at the end of the test port, or because it's going to be more convenient to use a test cable to make a connection to my antenna, I'm going to calibrate to the end of my test cable. So I connect up the open I go to the cal menu press open it's going to sweep I get a green circle with a check mark in it indicating it completed the open sweep now I connect up the short press short wait for the green circle and the check mark which now I have and finally I'm going to connect up my load once the load is swept you can see the correction is now turned on it's indicated here and also in the lower right corner another way to find out um, if you have a good calibration you can drag the scale up a little bit and you'll see the sweep and it should be below neg 40 um, and this one is down around neg pretty close to neg 60 so I have a good sweep I'll disconnect the load And now I'm going to connect straight up into my antenna. Because I've calibrated out to the end of the test cable, this cable is not part of the measurement. I have a couple places where I dip below the limit line. And to find out where I'm good at, I'm going to add a couple of markers. So I add a first marker and my frequency spec is 896 on the low end. So I'm going to set a marker there. I'm going to add a second marker and I'm going to set that frequency to 960 megahertz. And as you can see, I am actually well within spec because I can drag this marker out to where my sweep crosses the limit line 
and I can also drag the first marker out to where it first crosses the limit line. And we can see I'm good from 886 at neg 15 up to 1033 megahertz at neg 14. I can also adjust my scale a little more. I'll reset my top scale to zero. I'm going to set my bottom scale to minus 40. Gives us a little bit more detail. Notice I have a couple other resonant points. The antenna would transmit and receive equally well at these frequencies, but that's not where this antenna is in spec. If I want to take a look at this sweep in SWR, I simply tap up here where it says return loss. I select SWR. It's the same measurement. I get the same results except my scale is in SWR. I did not change my markers. And if you took the equivalent return loss versus SWR, it automatically converted what those values were at the limit line. Nothing has changed, it's just a different scale.